Hey guys, Adam here. Today I'm going to show you a tutorial on how to create a dynamic page header using Generate Press Theme and Generate Blocks Builder. Now, what exactly does dynamic mean? Dynamic means that once we set up this page header, uh, the page title will dynamically populate based on the page you're working on. So once this is in place, every page you create from here on out will automatically change the page header title to that page you created. Let's dive in. All right, so this page header here shown in the gray color is exactly what we're going to create today. And as you can see, as I click to the different pages, that page header remains consistent and all that's changing is the page title. So we're going to jump right into Elements and just a quick note, Elements does require Generate Press Premium version. So these are the elements we'll be setting it up and first I'm going to delete those and we'll work on recreating them from scratch. So first we're going to add a new element and this first element is going to be a block. This is where we're going to design the actual header itself. So let's go ahead and name our block page header. Now we're going to insert a container. We can also next go ahead and insert a headline. And now this headline, you don't actually need to type anything. What we're going to do is click on this dynamic options icon here in the headline block itself, the inline options. And we're going to go ahead and click the drop down and choose title. So what that does is that's what that's where the dynamic power comes into place. That's going to automatically pull in the page title for us in those page headers. So that's going to show the title. You can do some before text. Um, some scenarios is useful, but page titles, not necessarily. And you can also choose a link type, but in this case as well, we're not going to do that. So now let's give this some style. We're going to click into the container. We're going to want to add some padding. So let's give 100, 20, 120 colors background color we're going to do the sign select gray choose a shape now just to kind of give a little bit of flair to our header here and let's go into triangles and choose a offset triangle here we can go ahead and do 50 height we want it to be kind of minimal um, let's flip it so the arrows on the right and change the color to white so that you can't see that cut out on our page. All right, so that's kind of the basics that we already have here set up. Uh, so we can go ahead and what we're going to want to do is come down here under location. We're going to want to choose entire site. Now, let me move my little space. The exclusion, uh, in this scenario, when you think about a page header, the home page usually has its own hero section that's custom designed for that page specifically. So what I'm going to do is go under exclude and click front page just so that these page headers do not affect the home page design. Uh, and then users, go ahead and you can select all users. And now in the block element settings here in the sidebar, we're going to want to go under element type and select page hero. A page hero essentially Hero always means it's the first thing at the top of the page. So we want that one, this to be first since it's our page headers. Uh, you can leave after header as the quick hook and hook name. And we should be good to hit publish. So now what we can do is go into about. And now you can see this is the new page header I just created and we can click through and you'll see each page automatically carries over this gray background design 
and the page titles are changing as the pages change as well. So now that we have that in place, let's go ahead and go to style that page header title a little bit more. So we can click on that headline block, give the text uh, that nice blue color. We can go ahead, uh, let's increase it to 48 point font, click update, come back over and refresh and boom, there we go. It looks a little bit better, bigger, you can read it easier. So now what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna show you real fast how to merge this page header with the navigation so that you don't have the separation of the navigation from the page header. So all we gotta do is go back to our elements. We're gonna click add new element and click header. Hit create. We can go ahead and title this page header merge. And what we're gonna hit here is merge with content merge. It's really that simple. Uh, display rules, we wanna make sure this is on the entire site so that each page header on every page is merging with that uh, with our navigation. And we can go ahead and hit publish. Then we'll come back to our page, hit refresh, and boom, there you go, uh, it merged to the top. So now you see though, our kind of logo site title is a little close for comfort there. So what we can do is go back to our elements, um, click on our page header, click into the container, and go ahead and add some, let's do a 160 on the top for padding. Come back, refresh, and there you go. That looks a lot better. It gives us some breathing room. And there it is. So, and quick shout out to uh, Kyle Van Dusen on the website Ipsum. As you'll see here, uh, super easy website filler. It's better than Latin text. Uh, you can visit it at websiteipsum.com. There you have it, guys. We just created a dynamic page header using GeneratePress Premium and Generate Blocks. Thanks for watching.